and we back. Listen, listen, today, y'all are really setting me up. If you do not know, I, I accept rebuilding challenges all the time on the channel. Only thing you gotta do is comment it, and if you see one you like, leave a like because I'm accepting the most liked rebuilding challenges. Now, today one is gonna be one that, um, probably gonna be my least favorite rebuild of all time because it's dealing with probably my least favorite NBA player of all time. A guy commented on yesterday's video saying, First of all, his name is Worthless, and I promise you, bro, you have some value here because you're part of Team Overtime. Day 15 of asking Kenny to do the Felicio rebuild. Cristiano Felicio. I'm sure he is a cool, cool person, but he got to be the worst player in the NBA. I've seen it with my eyeballs. So today we're doing a Cristiano Felicio rebuild and challenge, but obviously there are some rules. You have to do a fantasy draft. We usually do that. You have to pick Felicio with the first pick. He means my first round pick. So if I end up with the 30th pick in the first round, it has to be Felicio. Which means that we're not getting any stars in today's video. If we have the first possible pick, instead of picking Giannis, instead of picking LeBron, Kawhi, so on and so forth, we have to pick Felicio. You can't trade him. And he has to play at least 40 minutes a game. Those are the rules for today's rebuild. So let, here, here we are. Here we are. I'm going to accept it because like 400 people agree with that one. So let's get into it. Be sure to leave a like, man. Let's try to shoot for 15,000 likes. I never, ever, ever really do um, like goals, but I know y'all can do it. We've been teetering around that for a long time, so I know y'all can. Leave a like on the video because this one is way out of nowhere. So I'm going to stop in three. Two, one, we're playing with the Atlanta Hawks in today's video. I got Hawks color zone. Shout out to House of Highlights for the custom. And with the Atlanta Hawks, we ended up with the top 10 pick. And instead of me going for Damian Lillard, Joel Embiid, uh, Kyrie, Nikola Jokic, Paul George, Trey Young, I have to go with Felicio. Honestly, I don't even know what overall Felicio is in the game. He's a 73. Bro, that is generous. That is generous. So, yeah, Felicio, first pick. Now, the rest of the team, I'm not building. I just had to make sure that our first pick was Felicio, and the rest of our team is going to be trash. It really is a rebuild of talents because we're not starting off with a star. I mean, we may get a level 2, level 3 star, but we're not getting a top 10 pick like we were supposed to. We got D'Angelo Russell. We have Kevin Love. We have Terrence Davis. Shout out to him. We have Mouse Turner, Reggie Jackson, uh, Korkmaz. We got shooters. Hey. Like, everybody on our team can shoot, except for John Henson, it seems like. And, of course, Felicio. But, literally, everybody else on our team is, like, lethal from three. I guess that was the strategy for my GM. Felicio has to be our starting center, though, regardless of, of the challenge or regardless who's on the roster. So, what's the goal here? I've had D'Angelo Russell on a bunch of rebuilds. And, honestly, he doesn't have a great track record as far as winning goes on, on my team, at least. So, Kevin Love is also a guy that I'm, I'm probably going to trade both of my top guys, honestly. I'll go Kevin. What is our pick worth? Because that's super important in today's video. Because our team is not good. Our team is not good. So our pick should be valuable. The restart value for that pick. Okay. And that varies. Obviously, a team can value it more if they're a rebuilding or selling team. So you know what we should do? Let's go see who's rebuilding or selling. We see Jimmy Butler a part of the heat. But he's got Devin Booker on his team. And DeJounte Murray. Devin Booker got defenders with him. Rebuilding team has Brandon Ingram and Porzingis. Rebuilding team has... Tobias Harris is Zion, who's untouchable. Rebuilding team has Luka, but he's untouchable. Rebuilding team has Russell Westbrook. It's Shea Gilgis Alexander. Okay, we can snag one of these players for sure. Steph Curry's untouchable. So we have the Pelicans here. And it is a match made in heaven. Do y'all see what I see? A, Damian Lillard is not untouchable. And their target list include Anthony Davis, Alec Burks, and D'Angelo Russell. They want D'Angelo Russell. This team wants to sign and JaVale McGee. Anybody have Kevin Love on their <laughs> on their target list? Because if you got Kevin Love on your target list, I'll trade him to you. You know what I'm saying? I just need your best player in return. Everybody seems to have Anthony Davis and Alec Burks. Anthony Davis. Al what is Alec Burks doing that every team in the league wants him? But at least we know. Look, Alec Burks pop up again. At least we know we see a team that wants our best player. And their best player is not untouchable. Now, if you're a rebuilding team, which they were, you want to go younger, don't you? D'Angelo Russell, way, uh, way younger, 23 to 29. That's a lot in NBA years. Obviously, they're not going to accept that. But we have pieces. Um, I am willing to give you Kourouts. Come on, man. Kourouts has no value to you. First round pick, two first round picks. 
Uh, do I want to go three? I'm basically trying to do everything in my power not to give them a third first round pick. So I give you Kurt Roots. <laughs> He's got like no value. Um, I'll give, I'll even give you Cork Moss, two star value in the second, two seconds. I don't think we're going to get Dame. I don't want to give up three first round picks for one player. That really hinders our rebuild. I'll try it. And a second. And Karoots. And this is my last offer. Okay. And Karoots is the thing that gets it. Did I overpay for Damian Lillard? Probably. But we needed a solidified star if Felicio is going to be our starting center. Now, honestly, Miles Turner is good if I make him a power forward. So I may just keep Miles Turner because he is he's relatively cheap. He plays his role pretty well. He's going to be a great defender alongside Felicio. And he can hit, out, hit the shot. So that gives us room to move Kevin Love. One thing I don't have to worry about is a center position. Because we have to play 40 minutes. 40 of Felicio. Doing all those picks. So we don't really have that many left. But we have Spencer Dinwiddie and Will Barton there. Steven Adams. DeMar DeRozan. VO. Zach Levine. Mm. I need my shooting guard to be a better defender than that. We uh, Tobias Harris' contract is too big. One thing we know is that Kevin Love has value. Chris Middleton's contract is huge too, but Chris Middleton is about efficient as it gets in real life. So Chris Middleton is not a bad option right now. Uh, Drew Holiday, that's not a valuable trade. Yeah, this is going to be tough, man. Luke Kennard, even for Luke Kennard, they want Kevin Love. Kevin Love, at the end of the day, don't have an extreme amount of trade value. So I'm going to go back to Kevin Love in the first round pick. I may just accept this deal right here. That had to do with Chris Middleton. Because even though DeMar is a high overall, I just, I'm good, bro. I'm just good on it. I don't really, mm, no, nah, I'm good. So we may just do the Chris Middleton deal. And we got Nas Little. We'll flip Nas Little because he's got two-star value for a rookie. I mean, I guess it's not great. But we'll get some team to take him. So right now, our starter lineup is Dame, Terrence Davis, Chris Middleton, Mouse Turner, and Felicio eventually. Uh, which is fine, but I, I want my shooting guard to be a little bit better than Terrence Davis. And like y'all know how we do things. We get assets and we flip them. So though we did just trade for Chris Middleton and Nas Little, we'll flip both of them. I see Kemba. It's not much of an upgrade, especially because we'll have two small guards in our backcourt. I see Shea here, but they want too much for just Shea. So I'm trading Reggie Jackson first round pick of Damian Lee. And this is a, a finesse. We get Aaron Gordon and Karis LeVert. Aaron Gordon's going to come off our bench. I think that's a great role for him. Unless, I'm, I wonder what his overall does if you make him a small forward. It stays the same. Okay, we're going to keep him at power forward. He's just going to be a backup power forward to Turner. And honestly, I know I said I want to keep Miles Turner, but he ain't safe. Nobody's safe. We got no more first round picks, by the way. Nobody is safe on this team. You know what I'm saying? If I can get an upgrade, I'm going to get an upgrade. Like, technically, this is an upgrade, but they won't care. Levert, who's No, we can't do that. The trade market is kind of bare right now. There's not a lot going on. We can get CJ. We can bring Dame and CJ back together. But that's kind of lame because we see, we've seen that for 500 years, it seems like. So, it seems like Mouse Turner is safe because it's not really a trade out there. Okay, we're trading for Zach Levine. And I'm going to have him be our sixth man. I know technically his overall is higher than Karis LeVert. But I'm going to have Zach Levine be our sixth man. Uh, because I, even though Karis is not a really good defender either. Ah... Uh, this is, yo, this is actually t the Cristiano Felicio rebuild of stuff because of everything. I mean, his defense is above average. Shout out to Karis LeVert. But uh, we're, we're really struggling out here, boys. Really struggling out here. I will try to see what Karis LeVert's value is. He's only making $2 million a year, so he's already at a disadvantage. His contract doesn't kick in until next season. John Henson on top of that. We're about to go through this whole little rabbit hole of getting assets and flipping them. We're trading for Brandon Clark. That is a deal. He'll actually be our starting, uh, not starting, backup power forward. Unless, yeah, I'm going to keep him at back up power four, which means that we don't need Aaron Gordon anymore. So we'll flip Aaron Gordon. Or do we don't, did we already trade Aaron Gordon? Oh, what the heck am I doing? We traded Aaron Gordon in the Zach Levine trade? Question mark? Like, what the heck is going on? Aaron Gordon for Zach Levine. Okay, so we did need a backup power four. So good trade, Kenny. Even though you're accidentally doing good trades. So right now we had Dame, Zach, and I'm still trying to debate whether I want Zach to come off our bed. I think Zach would be an amazing six man. Literally coming to get you buckets. Um, Chris Middleton, Miles Turner, and then of course these minutes are going to Felicio. Not even just those minutes, we get minutes on top of that. And that's not even enough. He needs more minutes. And that's not even enough. That's how many minutes Cristiano Felicio is getting in today's video. If this man don't average a double-double with 40 minutes played, 40 minutes, then I don't know, I don't know what to tell y'all. Our bench is still lackluster. Our seven, six and seven are pretty decent. Uh, but we need... 
a backup point guard. So I think Nas Little's going to flip for a point guard because he's like the only one that has some value left. Him and I guess um, Kevon Looney has value. Nas Little, Kevon Looney, we need a backup point guard. And then honestly, that may be the best we could. They're trying to get my boy. He's untouchable. Okay, see, you can't get him. Trade number 21, though. If I could somehow save him and trade the rest, I'll do that. So let's let's do that. Um, take Felicio off. The money doesn't match without Felicio. Yikes, bro. That's crazy. The money doesn't match without Felicio. Wow. I am I am heartbroken. I'm about to work some magic. I'm traded for Dennis Smith Jr. first round pick. Obviously, Dennis Smith Jr. is not good enough to be my backup. But we're really doing that trade for the first round pick. We haven't had a pick. And I'm going to use that pick to splash out. Now, I may do like a Joe Harris, Dennis Smith Jr. first round pick trade. Yeah, that's what I'm going to try to do. Actually, Brandon Clark in the first. Just, just real quick. He ain't safe. Nobody's... I see Bam. They want Felicio, though. Does this trade work without Felicio? Take Felicio out. We need to make up 10 million. Take Nico out. Just Bam and a fir for, for a first and Brandon Clark. Oh. Cool. <laughs> cool. So now we actually have a legitimate starting... Power forward is where we're going to change Bam to because uh, his overall obviously goes up to almost a 90. You can run some backup center minutes, I guess, but you're really going to be our power forward with Felicio. And y'all are going to look nice as the 4 and 5. Our defense just got a lot better right there. And now Miles Turner is coming off the bench. Okay, and we still need a point guard. That was my whole intentions behind the trade initially. Uh, so let's, let's just fulfill that void. Who the heck is this? Co college is no it says from none he's not from any where the okay google time all right professional basketball player plays for the grizzlies he's from chicago cool i mean that's fire i have a new player to like i guess he's from chicago he's from west chicago high school that's so funny bro i've played against him before and then he went to purdue fort wayne wow Purdue Fort Wayne, y'all. Um, but apparent according to 2K, he went to none. So he's staying on the he's staying on the team. He's a, he's a Chicago kid. You know we love Chicago kids. Will Barton will be fire. He runs back a point guard too, but they want Felicio, and that's the only way the numbers are gonna match. So we gotta keep it moving. Dennis Smith Jr. for Isaiah Thomas. Deal. We have our backup point guard, y'all. I got some fan favorites on this team. Okay, so Felicio, let's get him his minutes. I'm sorry, Miles Turner. You're gonna. Oh no, Miles Turner keeps his minutes. Hold on. We have to find your minutes, Bam. We're taking Cork Moss's. Not Bam. Jesus Christ. Bam was gonna get his minutes. We're taking Cork Moss's minutes away. We're taking some of Bam's minutes. Uh, we're gonna just take a little bit of everybody's minutes. And that's how. <laughs> that's how we're going to have our team. That's how we're gonna get Felicio to the amount of minutes he needs to play. Joe Harris, I'm sorry, you're a casualty right now. Because we're taking your minutes away and giving them to Felicio. So our starting five is Dame, Zach, Chris Middleton, Bam, and Felicio. Off the bench, we have Miles Turner, Karis LeVert, Isaiah Thomas, and Joe Harris. Okay, that's our team. Uh, let's see how game one treats us. A loss. And Felicio, six. And 14, he didn't miss a shot. He had a turnover. The opposing center. Well, who is your opposing center? No, it's no volley. Low volley starting for you. And he gave you 13. Hmm. Okay, game two. We lost again. This time, Felicio, two points, 12 rebounds. Six of them more offensive. That's pretty good. The six offensive. But the losses are not good. So, okay. So, that's two back-to-back -back wins. Felicio... Okay, four points, 15 boards. He's not going to score a lot, y'all. He won't score a lot. And then this game, he didn't score at all. 0 for 6 from the field, five rebounds in the whole game. And he fouled out. And he fouled out. So one for just one game, I want to make him the number one option. Oh, you know what we should do? We should find the right system, too. That's kind of important. Balance system works. So we just need a better coach that does balance because no disrespect to Lloyd Pierce, uh, but he just ain't got the attributes to, to fit what we're trying to do. So, and we're going to... Put him as the number one option just for one game against the Heat right here. Felicio scores 11 is the number one option. Okay, we're taking that away. All right, end of the season is here. We won 50 games with Felicio as our starting center. 
I cannot believe I just said that sentence. Uh, but here we are. Here we are. Was Felicio an all NBA? <laughs> Can you imagine? So we're the Atlanta Hawks. Damian Lillard, no all NBA nod. But Bam got one. Bam got one. Shout out to Bam. 16, 12, two assists, two blocks. Bam, out of bio. Let's go. Um, he didn't win most improved because they always get that to Luka. But yeah, that is so cool that he got that. And we end up making the playoffs as a 3C, which, you know what? All things considered, with this man, he is tired. He is dead tired. He's like, please take me out, coach. Uh, with this man playing 40 minutes a game or supposed to be playing 40 minutes a game, that's not bad to be the 3C. What was his numbers? That's all we care about. Wait, what did it say? I'm feeling happy about the way things are going right now. My usage rate in games has been where I expected it to be. There's no world where Felicio is like, you know what? I'm okay with playing 40 minutes. I'm, I'm expecting to play 40 minutes a game, coach. And if I don't play 40 minutes a game, then we got a problem. Anyway, he wants to re-sign when the season is over because we're the only team to give him a lot of PT. And his numbers, bro. It's not even his career high and points per game, even though these are undoubtedly the most minutes he's ever played. Undoubtedly. He's a positive plus minus. But like, come on, dog. You've played... Look how many minutes... This man, oh, my God. You've played so many minutes. You're telling me you only average five points per game and only eight rebounds? Not a block? Bro, you were the starting center, and you're supposed to play 40 minutes? 40? And you didn't average a block? Bro, that is three blocks in 82 games. Three blocks... For reference, <clears throat> let's see. Damian Lillard, who is my starting point guard, also 6'2", had 11 blocks. And the starting center of my team had this many. Bro, you can accidentally get 10 blocks in 82 games. <laughs> what a challenge, bro. What a challenge. You suck. You're terrible. And yeah, he wasn't very efficient. He had a career high free throw percentage, so that's kind of cool. Um, and I know it says he's played 30 minutes a game, but you can't actually pick how many minutes he plays. You can only tell them. You can see I told them to play him 40 minutes, but then the coach is going to do what, it, what they want. So uh, there it is. Zach Levine averaged 20. Uh, we got 50, 40, 90 club for Chris Middleton, which is very fitting. He averaged 18. Bam, you already saw his averages. Mouse turn off our bench. Averages 8. He shot efficiently. Uh, 11 points per game for Karius. I said Thomas 11 off the bench and then Joe Harris averaged four But of course he wasn't playing that many minutes first round. We're going against the Indiana Pacers who have Cal Lowry, CJ McCollum, Joe Harris Joe Harris. We have Joe Harris. Joe Ingles, Dwight and Jokic. They got a two big man lineup and we do too Our big mans are, are better than theirs. No cap No cap. Let's see how this goes game one. We win I hate on PC that it's sometimes too fast. Uh, Cause if I just let this go for two seconds, it's gonna simulate the entire round. But we got out of first round, and then the seven C beats the one C convincingly. And the seven C has Kemba, Donovan Mitchell, Kevin Knox as a starter, Jabari Parker, and Stephen Adams. Okay, it's a solid team, definitely a solid team. I'm surprised Kevin Knox is getting starting minutes, not even just PT, but starting minutes. Oh, okay, two two. I was about to say. I would simcast this one, but okay, I feel confident that we can get out of this. If we do, conference finals. We only have to go against the one seed or the two seed. We're the highest seed on this side of the bracket. Orlando, Jamal Murray, Drew Holiday, Josh Jackson. Oh, Giannis. We're going against Giannis. And y'all know how that usually goes in 2K. Uh, Mobamba. That's a defensive heavy team, huh? Even Josh Jackson's a good defender. He can't do much else right now, but at least he can clamp up sometimes. Game one is a win for us. First of all, we have to see Felicio's averages in the playoffs. Still bad. But he's actually got at least a block. How many blocks has he got in the playoffs? He's... This man has got three blocks in the small amount of games in the playoffs. But the whole 82-game season, you got... I gotta make sure my elbows ain't ashy. Felicio is a playoff player. Playoff defender. He didn't even try to play defense in the regular season. He said in the playoffs, I'm clamping up and get him me three blocks. <laughs> All right, we have 3-1. And we're in the finals with Cristiano Felicio. That is so crazy, bro. He's got two badges. Pick and roller and rebound chaser. Both bronze. 
It's terrible. All right. We're going against the Clippers, who have Tyus Jones as their starting point guard. James Harden, John Isaac, Rudy Gay, and LaMarcus Aldridge are back together. All right, let's see how this goes. Game one. Oh, we're up three. Okay, we're up three. Three, two. Things are going way too fast for me, y'all. We got a game seven. We got a game seven. We got a game seven. I've had a game seven in the finals in a very long time in these rebuilds. Joe Harris is on fire right now. But I got to I gotta take the minutes away. I need my best players playing the most amount of minutes. So, I mean, Felicio getting more. Talk about my best players. I mean, what, what else can you expect from me? And we're simcasting this one because it is game seven. Look at that. We're up. And it's got to be all Cristiano Felicio. Finals MVP him right now. How many how many points does he got right now? A zero. <laughs> zero. Zero. You know what we're going to do? We're going to continue to sim. And we're going to win this one, right? I'm jumping in. You can't go a game seven and not score. So I'm going to jump in and get him a bucket. Hopefully in a minute and a half. That's the only amount of time we have. I'm going to put it on Hall of Fame too. <laughs> See if I can get a bucket with Felicio on Hall of Fame in a minute. All right. First thing, change the camera angle. 2K. That's all we play around here. Second thing, we have to put it on Hall of Fame. Third thing, we have to make sure Felicio's in a game, which he is. Okay, where is he? We're only playing with Felicio right here. So we play off ball tactically. If we, oh, they're, they're going at Felicio. Here's a block. That's not a block, but that's a bucket. Dame has 35, 3, and 8. He's going to be finals MVP probably. All right, Felicio. We need. He has pick and roll LeBrons, right? Give me a quick ISO. Come on. Set this hard pick. Where, where are you going? Okay, okay. All right, ex-teammates going at each other. Oh, Felicity. Why is that the animation we get? All right, we still got a minute to get on buck. He is dead tired, by the way. He is absolutely drenching sweat. This is the most minutes he's ever played in his career, but it's going to pay off. Oh, he scored. He scored a bucket in the sim. Okay, so I don't feel too... He's so slow. I don't feel too bad. He scored at least two points, and that's all we need from our real finals MVP. There's a cold zone for Dane. That's surprising. Watch this. Cut, Felicio. Okay, he wants the midi. He wants to. Okay. All right. Not not ideal. I'm <laughs> At this rate, I'm going to mess around and lose this game seven. Because <laughs> I'm not playing no defense and I can't score. Felicio, why are you not diving, bro? If he dove, I would have threw him the lob and that would have been it. Even though he is dead tired. We'll have Bam set the screen. And this is a this is a shot here it is you got the smaller guy on you james harden turn around all right that's enough i'm, I'm out of here i'm out of here i can't do it you suck i suck we all suck championship though booyah felicio shoots a whopping one for five and i think three of those shots were me <laughs> but we did it with felicio as our starting center we won a national championship an nba championship and dame did his thing i thought i was doing too much by giving up that many first round picks for damian Lillard, but he's a bucket if you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. Still accepting all challenges. I'll be back tomorrow. Peace.